Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a multi-user whiteboard on NotebookCast. You can find it at NotebookCast.com. This will work on any device, including your iPad or Android tablet. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to log into my account. And here you can see all the options I have. I can join a whiteboard, I can create an online whiteboard, I can see previous boards that I've made, I can even look at templates that I've used before. So let's go ahead and create a whiteboard. And we'll choose a size for it. You can see we have a bunch of different size options. I'm just going to go with uh, 1200 by 600 here. I'm just call it our sample board. And we'll say we're using it for a demo. And so now you can see my board here. You can see my name appears in the upper right hand corner. And let's take a look at some of the tools that we can use. Maybe I want to uh, add some text. Oops. And we'll just write in our text and say, please share your ideas. And there's my text. And as you can see, I can click and move that around. Let's look at some other tools. We want to use a pencil tool. Maybe I'll just draw in a line to go up to. Please share your ideas. And of course, we can change the line width, thin, thick, medium. We can change our paper background, and we can also change our color. So maybe I want to draw in blue. And we'll choose a thick line. And now we have it in blue, the thick line. Now let's take a look at our chat feature. So on the right hand side, this chat feature pops up when I click on chat and we can say, what do you think about this board? And if I've invited people to collaborate with me, they'll be able to chat back to me. Now let's take a look at inviting people. So there's our code for guests to join the board or you can give them this URL or you can send them a note via email. So let's take a look at this URL and see how it would appear to another user. So another user will be prompted to join the board. They can put in a nickname. We'll put in Max. There's some board code already filled in for that person and they'll submit and now we can see that Richard and Max are in the room and we have a chat message and Max might reply I think this is neat and Max might decide that he wants to put in a square and he'll use that shape and he'll say square. So that's how you can create a collaborative notebook or whiteboard using notebookcast.com. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.